The greater LC community. Hmm. Obviously, the greater LC community is the privileged white. I'm not going to say hippie. Birkenstock wearing, uh, white, privileged. Maybe doesn't shower, but hey, I don't shower either. Hippie folk. Predominantly white students from upper or middle upper class families. Upper class, privileged, white kids. The fact that, you know, I'm not white and I don't, you know, I'm not, you know, rich and affluent, you know, sometimes I feel like separates me from the Lewis and Clark community. I definitely see some degree of racial diversity on campus. It's something that's made me really happy because I've always really wanted the chance to study abroad and learn about different cultures. And Lewis and Clark gives me an opportunity to do that in almost every single one of my classes. We have a decent amount of people, I would say, not a lot, who come from different backgrounds. And I think that uh, on the whole, we could have slightly more. Last I checked, looking online, um, as far as demographics go, over 60% of students here declare themselves of white. All I see is a bunch of white kids hanging out with white kids. I struggle with just looking like a person of color <laughs> because that's because there's so few. You know, Lewis and Clark claims that you know it's very diverse here, but I think you have to look really hard for the diversity that it you know that it claims to have. Um, I, I definitely see a division among students of color and among, uh, again, white students. When I go into class, I will see white students sitting together and black students sitting together and athletes sitting together. It's just like middle school. You know, if you go to the bone, you always see the, the African table with all you know, the black kids and you know, the occasional white kid that sits there because you know, they went to school with them. They're more comfortable with this group of people because they may come from like the same background or if it's an international they come from the same area and they just feel that it's an easier environment for them to get into. Those are the people you know. Those are the people who you think who can identify with your experience. But the, the sad thing about staying within your clique is that no one else gets to hear about your experiences. I don't necessarily think that it has to do so much with I guess, with, with, you know, closet racism or really just kind of fear. In the first weeks of camp, like me coming to campus um, and hanging out with some people at, or trying to hang out with people at various events on campus that were sponsored by Campus Living and just seeing the feedback and, and some people just seem highly disinterested in getting to know me just by me saying, oh, my name is Luana. Hi, I'm from Hawaii. They just seem really disinterested. It made me feel very insignificant. There's definitely, I mean, I've, I've definitely met people in Hawaii, in my hometown, where people just don't really care about getting to know you, but not in, in an overwhelmingly, in, in one race. It was, it was just, I was dumbfounded. I didn't know how, like, how to make sense of it.